everyone, this is Jeff of Tell Player Mouse. Today we're going to be using Lego heads as 40 caliber ammunition for science. And because a lot of people have asked me to do this, so here we go. Another center mass video, Lego Man goes ballistic. We got 40 caliber Lego Man and a 40 caliber Glock, and we're going to put the two of them together and see what kind of trouble we can get into. Okay, this is 1.1 grains of unique behind a, what it amounts to about a 19.6 grain Lego man. Fire in the hole, 1.1 grains of unique on a 19 grade Lego man. <laughs> <laughs> Now much to our surprise, these things were incredibly accurate. Let's zoom in a little bit. Now one of the questions I had was whether or not these things would actually engage the rifling and how they would fly through the air, if they'd be uh, ballistically sound or not. And they definitely were. Not a lot of velocity there at 412 uh, feet per second, but it still managed to penetrate probably about three, three and a half inches of this very stiff clay. Now remarkably the Lego head was still in very, very good condition and you can see the rifling marks left on it from the barrel. Shot number two is going to be Spider-Man Lego Man. Let's get him dialed in here. Look at him. Spider-Man Lego Man. How many grains of powder does that have? This has 2.1 grains of powder. 2.1 grains of unique behind what is about a 19 grain Lego man and we're gonna put him on target on Shrek over there and uh, See what we can get done with the 2.1 grain Lego is it man. chamber. Okay. It's... He's gonna chamber fine. Okay, go ahead. And... Oh look at that. Awesome. Chamber smooth fire in the hole <laughs> Okay, the first shot was 412 feet per second. This time we've got 419 feet per second, just a slight increase. The Lego head managed to lodge itself inside this Shrek figure. There's some circuit boards and batteries and stuff that it hit, but we managed to recover this one too, and it's in good shape. Once again, the Lego head was very accurate, and we had excellent ballistic stability. Now one thing we did learn was the yellow Lego heads definitely showed up better on camera, especially with those striations on there from the barrel markings. I'm hoping because this got 3.1 grains of powder, maybe the powder will ignite, it's spread in there a little thicker. Uh, maybe not, but we'll at least shoot some ballistics gel and, and do it again. So there we go. Okay, fire in the hole, Lego man on the ballistics gel. Three, two, one. Three, two, one. We got about three inches of penetration. I kind of thought these things would actually bounce off this ballistic gel, to be honest with you. This stuff's hard to cut. Boy, it is. Oh, there I got him. Yeah, peel it open. <laughs> so we got about there, three inches there of... There he is, intact. And there he is. Three shots, three recovered projectiles. That's awesome. Okay, I cranked up the Kronos high-speed camera to about 12,000 frames per second for this shot. Once again, we had good accuracy and excellent ballistics. What more can you ask for for, for any projectile? Maybe a little more weight. <laughs> there you go, three shots, three recovered projectiles. And uh, these things look like they can be reloaded again. In fact, Rod may actually do that, and we'll try to get some supersonic speeds. Be sure to check out Rod's channel. When he gets to 1,000 subscribers, he's actually going to give away a Glock 17. Well worth subscribing to.